Hi, I'm Kat Edel from the Dyscalculia Network. Today we're going to talk about halving. So, so far in our um, work on times tables, we've looked at pre-skills, we've looked at multiples of 10 and groups of 10 and the 10 times tables. We've looked at doubling and halving for the two times table and linking those together. And now we want to start looking at the five times tables. Before we look at the five times tables, we need to do lots of step counting on and back in fives. And we also need to understand that half of 10 is five and how that relates to the times tables. So to do this, we work on halving. So to start with, we're going to halve um, 20, 40, 60, 80, and 100. So they're the halves that I call the even halves, as in two, four, six, eight, ten. So we're going to start with halving 20. I like to use um, Q's and Air rods or Dean's blocks tens for this. And you'll also need some five rods. So we start with looking at what's half of 20. And I like to have two circles on my sheet. And I say to the pupil, can we split this fairly in half? And pretty quickly, because we've looked at um, halving already up to 20, the child will say, oh, that's easy. That's 10 each, 10 and 10. So we look at that and we extend that to, well, what if we had 40? We've got four tens. What if we split that in half? We've got 20. So we keep working on those. So half of 80 is 40, so on. Half of 100 is 50 each. And then we move on to looking at well, what's half of 10. And again, we already know this. So we're encouraging the child in an area that they already feel confident. We've already looked at this. And they will say, oh, well, that's easy. That's five because half of 10 is five. So we've got a five and a five. So we take our 10, we kick it off and we swap it for a five each. And that's a really important understanding to know that half of 10 is five. Because then when we come to look at half of 30, Let's call this an odd multiple of 10, even though they're all even numbers. I know, confusing. Um, if we look at half of 30, we're going to get 10 each. And then we're stuck with a 10 that doesn't belong in either side. So what we need to do is we need to think what we're going to do with this 10. And the children, because we've looked at this already, about half of 10, we say, oh, we could get some fives. So we can swap our 10 for two fives. And then we can share it equally. So how many do we get? When we share 30, we get half of 20 is 10, and then half of the other 10 is 5. So we get 15 each. So we can take that up to something like what's half of 70. So here's 70. Here's my 7 tens. I've got 7 tens. The children hate when they go the wrong way. Here's 7 tens. We're going to split that equally. So you have one, I have one. They might do it bit by bit, or they might say, oh, well, I know that half of 60 is 30. And then we've got another 10. So we need to split our 10 into two fives, kick that 10 off, and now we can split it. So we've got half of 70 is 35. And being able to half all the multiples of 10 means effectively the child can work out what their five times tables are from their 10 times tables. So it's a really great skill to learn. So you have a go with using these um, materials and see how you get on. Thanks for listening.